Oh, good morning, children. These are some beautiful Campus Hill children here. You got some beautiful children. My name is Laren Cole. Is anybody, it rhymes with Darren. Is anybody named Darren here? Laren. Three years ago, I made a film, a movie film, about a family of beavers that rest on one day every week. Can anybody guess which day of the week those beavers rest? You raised your hand first. They rest on Saturday. And what am I going to do? I'm going to give her a DVD. This is a DVD called The Seventh Day Beavers. And it's yours. Because <laughs> you guessed it. Now, the, everybody knows that Sabbath is a special day, right? Does anybody know that? Saturday Sabbath is a special day. It's for people to rest. God made it as a holiday for us to celebrate his creation. Amen? Isn't that right? But did you know there are some animals that also do some funny things on Saturday, some rest-like things? And since I made this film, The Seventh-day Beavers, I've had many, many people come to me and tell me their stories. Elephants, mice, warblers, the ox, a seventh-day ox, maybe you've heard of that. Uh, and bees, animals all over the place. And so I'm just going to share with you one little story someone told me. My pastor told me this story, so I know it's true. It happened in Russia. Long time ago in Russia, Ivan and Lydia lived in Russia. And Lydia found a Seventh-day Adventist church and started going to the church. But Ivan was upset about it. He didn't want her going to that Seventh-day Adventist church because people told him that those are bad people that go there and they're troublemakers. But Lydia already knew that that wasn't true, so she kept going. She would get up early in the morning and go to church before Ivan woke up. And then Ivan was upset about that. So one morning, Ivan got up before she did. And Ivan said, Lydia, you're not going to church today. You're going to go with me, and we're going to my parents' house, and we're going to work today. And she said, well, what's she going to do? She had, back in those days, in Russia, in the old days, they actually had to obey their husbands. That wouldn't go over very well or politically correct here in the United States too well today. But So Lydia said, okay, I guess I'll have to go with you. And she went, and by the time they got there, it was noon. She, they hooked the donkey up. They had a donkey. And they hooked the donkey to the cart so they could haul wood with the donkey and the cart. And when they got there, it was lunchtime. Time to eat. And Ivan said, and Lydia told Ivan, I can't work. It's Sabbath. I have to, I'll come with you, but I, I can't work because it's, it's a rest day. Isn't that what you do on Sabbath? You stop working, right? And so she said, I can't work. And Ivan said, if you don't work, you can't eat. And so Lydia hung her head, and she didn't eat lunch. And when they were done with lunch, they went outside to, to go get the donkey in the cart and go haul the wood. And what happened to the donkey? Well, you know what happened? The donkey just fell right over when Ivan got out there, and he laid down on the cart straps. The donkey was laying there, and the cart was sitting there upside down, and Ivan tried to pull on the donkey's harness, and he pulled, and he couldn't get that donkey to get up, and he worked on that donkey. He worked for hours and hours, and finally, it was just about sundown. He worked all day. The donkey would not get up, so they didn't have to work. And so Ivan said, I guess the sun was going down, and what happens when the sun goes down? Is that on Saturday afternoon when the sun goes down, what happens? That means... Sabbath is over. And guess what the donkey did as soon as the sun went down? The donkey got up. And Ivan looked at that donkey, and he looked at Lydia, and he said, what's going on here, Lydia? Did you make that donkey do that? And Lydia said, no, God made the donkey do that. Do you think God made the donkey do that? And he said, Lydia, if donkeys don't work on Sabbath, then I'm not going to work on Sabbath either. And so, guess who was in church with Lydia the very next Sabbath? Ivan was with Lydia, and Ivan got baptized. And he became a Sabbath keeper and a follower of Jesus. Amen? Yes. All right. And now this evening, I hope some of you can come, and some of you big kids out there can come, because at 6 o'clock, I'm going to share the story of the Seventh-day Beavers, and this is an amazing testimony. I spent 16 years of my life observing... Uh, and these animals, and documenting what I found, and I'm going to share uh, some wonderful testimonies this evening at 6 o'clock. So make sure you come, bring your, your mom and dad, and bring some neighbors, and 
we'll, there'll be video, there'll be pictures, and there'll be all kinds of fun things. Hope to see you here. Who would like to volunteer to pray? You would like to volunteer to pray. Here we go.